So you're basically taking the with the fresh sewage, which is actually or sewage effluent, which is actually fresh water. It has uh, ocean water is about 35 parts per thousand of salt. Uh, typical effluent is one part per thousand. So you're basically taking the brine, mixing it with the eff treated effluent, and producing something that has the same salinity, the same salt content as seawater. You would achieve the minimum required initial dilution. We modeled this using some EPA sponsored programs. The existing ports look something like this right now. They're basically a hole in the side of a piece of pipe. We would do a retrofit something like this with this red valve, which would allow us to get better performance. This one shows it one uh, right, <coughs> basically the way it would be installed. This shows what happens around an effluent outfall after the red valve's installed. Um, this looks like it's based on the fish, looks like it's a tropical situation, but the bottom line is these effluent outfalls, because you put this pipe on the water, underwater, you protect it with rock, you basically create a reef out there. So there are quite a bit few fish around, but the Santa Cruz outfall has been discharging effluent now for over 20 years. It's been monitored very extensively, and it's not showing an adverse impact. The brine would go out, could go out with the effluent, be mixed in seawater, it would basically be at ambient salinity when it left the pipe, so you wouldn't be introducing a heavy concentration of salt that would have impact the bottom, it could sink to the bottom, it rises up buoyantly away from the bottom, it mixes further, so once the mixing's over, the salt concentration, if anything, would be just a fraction of a percentage above normal seawater. There's been a lot of study done to look at the possible impact of brine on sensitive organisms at their sensitive life stage, the kind of life stage that um, Dave has talked about. And if the brine concentration is no more than 10% above background, you do not cause mortality. Here we're talking about being a fraction of a percent. So we think this is an excellent solution using an existing facility and existing capacity.